welcome to another video on my channel welcome back um, today's video is all about doing a speed clean of this messy kitchen because it is disgusting at the moment and needs a good clean so I purposely didn't clean up after I cooked breakfast this morning um, and there is a lot of mess that needs clearing up this is just a day's worth as well it's crazy to know how fast it builds up but let's get to it so first off let me show you the states these new fur and away lovely sink stuff everywhere I am probably gonna have to turn the light on because even though it's daylight this kitchen looks super dark so ah, that's better make it to the mess even clearer <laughs> So first thing I need to do is clean all the stuff off the surfaces so I've got space to actually clean the worktops. Okay, so let me just show you what I'm going to be using um, to clean these surfaces. I'm going to be using my Minky. Um, it's still the Christmas one. It's only done with January. I can get away with that. And it's too pretty not to use. And a microfiber cloth as well. Product-wise, my absolute go-tos are Sif Cream for the Hob. Stainless Steel Sif for the cooker hood and for the sink these are amazing if you haven't tried these yet go and pick them up you can get them from B&M and they're super cheap and um, it's a massive pack of salt that you get I use them for so much they're so good and then of course there's a flora which I just dilute in this bottle I'd need to go and fill this up with some more um, a little bit addicted to the floras <laughs> This is my little Sephora basket. Which one shall I use today? So next thing I'm gonna do is just wipe over all my surfaces with my Sephora, wipe down my covered doors, wipe down the toaster, and the kettle, and the canisters. So I just put water all down my top, so quick change of top, and let's get back to it.
Okay, so next is the sink. I'm gonna use my sift cleaner to clean the sink. And then I'm gonna use my wipes to clean down the taps. A little tip to keep your kitchen smelling lovely, make sure your plugs are closed and pop a cupful of Zaflora into your sink. That's the dog upstairs. And then just add some hot water. And then while you're finishing off your kitchen, that will smell amazing. Next it's the hob, so I'm going to use my sieve cleaner and then a different minky just for the hob. So I'm just going to take my diluted Sephora and my microfiber and wipe down all of the doors. So I do need to clean the cooker head, um, quite a little bit small, so I'm going to have to wait till my boyfriend comes to help me do that. Also don't forget with your cupboards to clean this gap if you've got the handleless cupboards because these seem to collect dirt as well. So next is the floor, I just wanted to show you a top tip. So we have really light grout and it gets dirty so easily best thing for it is these that i've found so far if you've got any other tips on cleaning grout please let me know because i have to do this all the time but you just grab a sift wipe and then if you just rub it can you see the difference here to this dirty bit here but this is very time consuming, so if you do have any of the recommendations on how I can clean my grow, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, so to finish, I'm going to use my steam up, which is the Vax steam up, and finish the floor off, and then we're all done.
we're done and I will leave it here. Um, thank you so much for watching. It's actually a lot harder to film a speed clean than it looks when other people do it on YouTube. So thumbs up to them because it is pretty hard. But thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.